Hello, my name is Tony Niemi. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I make these brushes. Uh, I got the inspiration from watching Gunnar Brammer's uh, fantastic YouTube channel, where he really goes into depth uh, between the, of the theory of how to use these uh, brushes. The idea is to have a longer fiber, which swims a lot, and then uh, I use uh, craft fur in this, these brushes, and then we have uh, longer dubbing uh, materials in the bottom, uh, which helps to support uh, the, the uh, craft fur and also build a little bit of bulk. Uh, the advantage of these uh, brushes are it's very easy to blend materials, uh, different textures, uh, you can add some some flash. Uh, I've used ripple eyes in this uh, just to get a small shimmer to it. I don't want it to be super flashy. And you can also add some UV into it. Uh, so this, for instance, looks very pale and doesn't do it much until you hit it with the torch. And you have more like a glowing core to it. Uh, so you get a really advanced blend uh, in an easy way using the Stonefo uh, dubbing brush tool looks like this, uh, which you attach to your vise. Uh, I use the Stonefo Cayman, so it's pretty much ready for it. Uh, also very easy to use since you have this rotary uh, function, uh, which spins quite fast as well, uh, because you're going to do a lot of uh, revolutions on this one. The brush we're going to make looks like this one, and out of that we're going to tie a bait fish that looks like this which is super fast to tie once you have the brush made. The advantage of having these brushes pre-made, uh, they do take some time uh, to do, but the idea is to, once you have everything set up, uh, you can do quite a lot of them in a fairly short period of time. And then when it comes to the flight, actual fly tying, it goes super fast, super easy. Uh, you can produce a lot of flies in a short period of time. What I'm using here is a wire. Uh, right up here between these two hooks. Put some wax on it, just so the craft fur will stick a bit easier and it'll fly away when it starts spinning everything. And then we raise this table. So this is where you're gonna place all your materials. Uh, and start out with the with the craft fur. Bit picky. I use it very sparsely uh, because in the end you will get quite a bulky fly even though the brush itself looks very very sparse. And then we take some dubbing make like a big carpet out of it and place it on top of the wire. Let's take some high stubbing copper just to get some sparkle to the fly. I don't want it to be really flashy but just like a small shimmer in it. Make sure everything's in place. So now we're ready to spin this. Here you have, this hook is uh, hooked to a spring here, which 
will follow uh, as you start speeding up. Uh, this is locked at the moment just so I can get the materials to lock in place uh, at the beginning and then I'm going to release the tension on that and drop the table and then we're, we're going to spin it uh, all the way. So you just want to see them starting to go, go together uh, at this end here. Pick everything out so we don't end up with one big rope. There we have it. The fly we're gonna tie is really easy to make. It has a simple craft for a tail, uh, which moves amazing in the water. Uh, I mainly fish this with uh, for sea trout and with a magic head in front of it. Uh, you can tie it on straight away on the hook uh, or have it loose on the leader in front of the fly, uh, which still gives a really good movement. Uh, the advantage of these flies, uh, which I think makes them really good, is um, they re move really easy in the water, uh, get a really good swimming action. The colors really blend well, uh, which makes it look very natural. Uh, the hook we're going to use today is the Arex Light Stinger in size 2, uh, which I really prefer using because since you can fish it really shallow, uh, it doesn't disrupt the movement uh, a lot.
And if you want to win this bike, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below. And uh, we'll also throw in the rest of this uh, used dubbing brush.